So, interesting that Sicko Munez has really put the player through the paces. Hello and welcome to the video. If you could like, share and subscribe to the channel, I'd much appreciate it. Liking helps the algorithm. Sharing gets in front of people's face and subscribing lets me know you like the channel. Hit that notification bell to let you know when people, when I go live even. Uh, it would help a hell of a lot. And yeah, so Sicko has turned around and said this week after the game versus Chesterfield that he killed them in their preseason. I.e. he just really went for them in the preseason uh, roundup because what he'd done as he's do, getting them ready for the game, he just got them training really hard, which is something that is good. I like this. Uh, the Owls had double training sessions on Monday before training once again on Tuesday mon morning before their trip to Chesterfield. Um, and he's trying to build up those energy levels by lots of it. Now, question, does uh, he know about how our pitch is? And not on the training ground because our pitches are not great at the training ground. They are quite solid. Uh, but he turned around and said, for me, it was a good performance because yesterday I killed them in training. I really pushed them. And also this morning we had training too. So them to arrive today at the game today, they are a little bit tired and feel a little bit heavy. But we are in the moment. In this moment, I think it's time to push them in a better condition or physically. I think our team has started to think about what we want, but we're still only a few days. We're aggressive. We stopped situations with foul. We had counter press, and they there's some of the things we that we need to defend. Uh, so we will be leaving to Spain on Saturday for the warm weather, which will be good. And like he said, he kind of doesn't want to see new faces through the doors door soon as well he has said that i'm going to cover that in another video today but the fact that he's starting to get these players really through the paces says a lot now again i'll say it again the part of me that he worried because we know what our pictures are like and stuff but he's bringing in new another conditioning coach uh we've seen that um who he had at a former club as his so he's starting to get more of his backroom staff together as well. So he's starting to get the people around him he can use to work with as well. So it's interesting how all these little pieces are now starting to come together. Now, getting the player fit and top tip is great. It's brilliant. Don't get me wrong. I think it, it's going to be really beneficial for us. And the fact that he's got on working so hard, I think it sounds like some of them haven't had that level of preseason for a bit. So it's interesting seeing some of the reaction to it. Like um, Byers said it said that he's seen some of the lads. And the Byers interview was interesting, actually, because he was really complimentary of the gaff and what they're trying to do. And he said, I think we're going to do really well if, if this is the route we're going. Which says a lot. It's interesting, that kind of wording, the positivity of it all. Uh, which... Well, you want to see, you want to hear players having that positivity about what's going on in and around the uh, camp. So it's good to see. So hopefully this will give us a lot of rewards in terms of fitness and stamina and trying to see if we're a little bit better shape than we have been in other seasons to start the season a bit stronger. But the fact that he's starting really well on these heavy pre training sessions, he's starting to build up all the energy levels and starting to get them to a point where he wants them to be more than anything. If more, this is where he would like them to be and ready to go then other way around. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully this is a good thing, but Sicko is starting to really, really get them up for this and get them going. Uh, and it could, it could explain why we were a bit lethargic in that first half versus uh, Chesterfield, just because there were some heavy legs going into that game. And heavy legs going into the game is something that happens. It's what it is. So let's see what happens in the next couple of days. Like I said, I still think we need players in by Friday before we go to Spain. If that happens, then brilliant. If not, we'll just have to figure it out. But 
at the end of the day, we are looking decent uh, in terms of what minutes he's getting into the boys. He did turn around and say he was not happy about uh, conceding again. He wants to tighten up that defense. He don't want to have. It. He wants to get the clean sheets going, but. In terms of training them, it seems like they are going very, very hard indeed.